Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got a very special guest to do Guitar of the Day, somebody that we love so much here and is part of the family at Norm's Rare Guitars. And he's kind of a big fella, and he said, Norm, you got anything that would kind of make me look a little smaller? I mean, this isn't like a clothes store. I don't have like fancy mirrors and stuff like that. But I said, uh, I think I have just a thing. So our special guest is the great Woo! Kirk Fletcher. Hey. Right in from Switzerland, one of the greatest players of all time, Aww. one of our favorites in the store here. It's always great to see Kirk, and uh, we love him, and he can play his butt off. And so this little guitar, this is a travel guitar, right? Yeah, this is a small little travel guitar I can put on the overhead, you know, yeah. on the airplanes and stuff. You know? mm -hmm. Let's open it up, Kirk. I would be very happy to do that. This is a guitar that I've always admired, one of my heroes. Robin Ford played one of these. Jimmy Witherspoon. Yeah. But anyway, it's a 1966 Super 400. CES. CES. Cutaway Electric Spanish. Cutaway Electric Spanish. And you know, Kenny Burrell played one of these. Kenny Burrell and too. Wayne Bennett with Wayne Bobby Bennett. Bland. You know, oh, one of my favorites. You know, Wayne so um, you know, it's a big sounding guitar. And it makes even big guys look small, yes. right? Yes! Yes! That, sharp cutaway. They call it the Florentine cutaway. Didn't even Larry Coriel play one of these? I think things? he did at yeah. one point, yeah. yeah. And uh, so they did uh, two cutaways. They did the Venetian, which was a round cutaway, and they did the sharp cutaway, which they call the Florentine. Yeah. And it's a spruce top um, with a maple sides and back, ebony fingerboard, gold parts, fancy inlays, multiple bindings. Yes. It's the kind. Look at the ornate, uh, you know, headstock on there. It's turn a little golden, you know, the yeah, pearl. yeah, gotta love it. Oh man, and look at this beautiful stinger with the inlay too. Oh my god, they knew how to make some guitars. Absolutely, I'd say. And it's funny, the guitar is, yeah, it's like. This is just a dream guitar ever since I was a little kid. And I was probably 20 before I even saw one in the flesh, you know. Well, up. a lot of the stores couldn't afford to have them because they were still so expensive for most of the stores. I could have put 20 inexpensive guitars yeah. in racks and yeah. as opposed to one of these guys. Yeah. Absolutely. And when they happen. introduced them, they were $400. That's why they were called wow. the Super 400. But that was back in about 1935, and that was a lot of money <laughs> yeah. back then. You know, yeah. so. so, Kirk, you gonna work out on this thing? Show us what this guitar does. I'm gonna play a little, uh, attempt to play a little bit on it. I'm yeah, so you attempt, all right. This guy can play like nobody else. The great Kirk Fletcher, one of my favorite guys of all time. Cool. Thanks, Kirk. Thank you so much. All right, Kirk Fletcher here, my favorite place on earth, Norman's Rare Guitars. And I'm very excited to be playing this 1966 Super 400. This guitar is really special because I saw pictures of one of my guitar heroes, Mr. Robin Ford, playing a guitar like this with Jimmy Witherspoon with the Florentine cutaway. You gotta love it. It's a beautiful guitar. And also Kenny Burrell played them and so many others <laughs> that I can't think of right now. But, you know, nonetheless, I'll play some on it. And the two pickups sounds a little something like this. Mm -hmm. 
pickup we have. <laughs> <laughs> fun. <laughs> All right, Kirk Fletcher signing off here. Norman's Rare Guitars. Thank you so much. Another guitar of the day. 66 Super 400. That was amazing. Woo!